You're spending what? 20, maybe $30 a week on your cigarettes? Yeah. 40. 53. 53 dollars a week on cigarettes come on would you give somebody that much money each week to kill you because that's what you're doing now by paying for this so-called privilege to smoke hey man we gotta croak sometime <sighs> it's that kind of mentality that allows the cancer producing industry to thrive of course we're all gonna die someday but do we have to pay for it do we have to actually throw hard-earned dollars down on the counter and say please mr merchant of death sir please Sell me something that'll stick up my breath and my clothes and fry my lungs? Now wait a second! Yeah, yeah, now here comes the speech about how he's just doing his job by following orders. Yeah. Friends, let me tell you about another group of hate mongers that were just following orders. They were called Nazis. Oh, yeah, that's right. they, Fucking Nazi. Yeah, and they practically wiped an entire nation of people off the earth just like your cigarettes are doing now. I think you're gonna leave now. You want me to leave? Why? Cause somebody's telling it like it is? Yeah. Somebody's giving these fine people a wake-up call? Yeah. No, you're loitering and closer to disturbance. I'm a disturbance? You're the disturbance, pal. You know, here, now I am a customer. I'm gonna buy some Chulies gum, all right? I'm a customer, engaged in a discussion with the other customers. Yeah, see, he's scared now, cause he sees the threat we present. He smells the change is coming. You can smell it. You definitely are the source in this area, and we're gonna shut you down for good. For good, cancer merchant! Cancer merchant! Cancer merchant! Who's leading this mob? <coughs> that guy. <coughs> Freeze. Let's see some credentials. Slowly. You're a Chulis gum representative? Chulis? And you're stirring up all this anti-smoking sentiment. To what? Sell more gum? Get out of here.